Now, this is a question that I got from uh, NCA exam paper 2013. The topic is for the algebra. So the question is, h is equal to n squared minus 6n plus 8. For what, what values of n will h be negative? Will h be negative? So let's read this. So the key word is h be negative. Okay. So what does that mean? h is negative. H is negative means H has to be less than zero. So this means if you write this mathematically, this means H is less than zero. Now what is H? H is given to be N squared minus 6N plus 8. So this means if this means H is less than zero and it is given that h is n squared minus 6n plus 8, I can say n squared minus 6n plus 8 is less than 0. So we have to solve this inequality. So this is an inequality. So basically we are asking the question for which value or values of n would this whole expression which is quadratic would become less than 0. So it will be good if you have an understanding of quadratic equation. So to understand this, so let's first set it equal to zero and solve it. And then I'll explain why I'm setting it equal to zero. So n squared plus 6n plus 8 is equal to zero. So if you factorize this, well, this is n minus 4 times n minus 2 is equal to zero. So when we solve this, I can say, well, n has to be 4 or n is equal to 2. What is the meaning of this equation or this solution? This means when n when n is equal to 2 or n is equal to 4, uh, this expression, you can say n squared minus 6n plus 8 is equal to 0. Or in other words, h is equal to 0. So let's understand it graphically. You can also make up a table. So let me draw a graph. So this is a quadratic equation. So I hope you know how to draw a parabola. So this is your y-axis and this is your x-axis. So your x-axis is n and on this I'm taking h. Okay, so this is your y-axis, your h-axis and h is what n squared minus 6n plus 8, or that is same as n minus 4 times n minus 2. So what have we just said? We have just said that when n is 2 or 4, your h is going to be 0. So this is your n. So let's start with 0. So what will happen when n is 0? So by just looking at this equation, look at this equation and tell me what would if n is 0, what will happen to this equation? Well, this has to become 8. So let me say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is, when n is 0, so this is 0, 8. Okay? And here we said when n is 2 or 4, h is going to be 0. So let me say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this is when n is 2. So let me use a different color or green color. When n is 2, this is 2. So we can say when n is 2, the h is 0. And when n is 4, so this is 2, 3, 4. So this is 4. So this coordinate, the coordinate, if you want to write the coordinate, when n is 4, h is 0. Now, as this is going to be a parabola, the graph would look somewhat like this. So it's a parabola from 8 on the y-axis. It hits, goes like this, and it'll go up like this. So, so let me again come back to this point. This is an important point. So when n is 2, this is what I'm saying. When n is 2 or 4, your h value is equal to 0. That's what this graph is telling you. 
when n is 0, your h value is going to be 8. So now let's com come back to the question. The question is, for what value of n is h negative? So this is your h axis. So, well, I have to look at this part of the graph. So let me use a different color, hopefully. So this part of the graph is negative, or your h is going to be negative. So for this part of the graph, when n is 2 or 4, it is 0. You can say when, I'll show this on a calculator in a different way, but for algebra, you cannot use a calculator, but it's good to understand graphically and also in a table form. So we can say when n is equal to 2 or n is equal to 4, h is equal to 0. And that these are these two points. Now the question is when is h negative? So h is negative for this part of the graph, or you can say when n, so when n, so let me write in words, when n is between 2 and 4, when n is between 2 and 4, it can be any number. You can, you can get millions of numbers between 2 and 4. When n is between 2 and 4, your h is going to be negative. h is negative. So let me also explain where it would be positive. So by just looking at the graph, can you tell me for which value of n would h be positive? So let me use a different color. Let me use white. So this is the positive part of the graph. This part is positive and this part is positive. So this is the positive, h value is positive for these values of n. So well, I can say when n is less than 2, if you take any value which is less than 2, or when n is greater than 4, when n is greater than 4, your h is going to be positive h is going to be positive. So you can also make up a table and understand this. Pick any values between 0, 0 and 2 and you'll find your h is going to be positive. Pick any value which is greater than 4 and put it in the equation and you'll find your h is going to be greater than 0. Pick any value between 2 and 4. Okay, say for example take 2.25 or say 2.2.9 or 3.999 or 3.99. So all these values are between 2 and 4. And if you plug it in this equation, it will be less than 0.